Alright, so I already leveled up Clerch and Henry to level 20, which is their max level in their base class. So now I'm going to use a Master Seal and possibly evolve them. Hey, let's see what else they can turn into, by the way. <laughs> now either a Travadon or a Cleric. Eh. Lame sauce. Okay. So, is she gonna turn to a Wyvern Lord? Wield axes and lances? Or a Griffin Rider? Which is a seasoned and well balanced Wyvern Rider on a new mountain. <laughs> well, it's interesting, but. I'd rather have her run the Wyvern. Because Minerva. And she loves her Minerva to death. So, let's change her to a uh, Wyvern Lord. I've always been fairly adaptable. And now she can use lances. Sweet. Alright, I'll turn Henry into something else. <laughs> Let's see what else he can turn into first. Ooh, a barbarian. A savage thug with high strength and speed with low defense. And he can turn into a thief and a dark mage. Barbarian sounds interesting. I usually see those around when I'm using Street Pass. Dark Knight. I'll change him to a sorcerer with fearsome magic. Let's do it. This looks so silly. Can I keep it? <laughs> you look quite silly. And also quite handsome. Okay, that's more interesting stuff on the barracks. <laughs> it seems Tiger are only strong ones. Shall we fight together more? I'd love to. I hope I just don't get chip or get in the way. <laughs> Whatever. And we also have Lucina bonding more with me and her father. Sweet. <laughs> Everyone in this town is so stylish. I wager we'll find you the perfect dress here. Oh. Er, yes, it's just so long as it's not too stylish. Frankly, dear, you have much more flamboyant taste in clothes than I do. No, wait. I favor the tasteful and understated. For example, what about this one? <sighs> Good gracious, I don't think I've ever seen such a shimmery magenta. I suppose it's a little bright. Well, what about this one? Oh my, it's very lazy. In fact, there's nothing but lace. Lucy, now I can see right through it. Uh, huh? Oh, alright, well, how about this one, then? Well, it's a nice color, I grant you, but I'm not sure about the whole octopus menti. Well. Oh, I thought you liked octopi. This is not going well, is it? Why don't I come back another day and pick out something nice for you? Um. Uh, well, I'm not sure if that's a good idea, but alright, let's try it. Wonderful! Then I shall not rest until I find you the perfect dress. Something that you will truly, truly adore. Yeah. Oh yes, I'm sure about you. Hmm. Oh, look at this. Huh? Which one? The baby garment? Wow. Oh, isn't it just adorable? Look at the tiny little bow too. Well, enough shopping for today. We should really be getting back to camp. Yes. Hmm. What she got in her brain? Right. All right. That should do it for today's training. Let's stop here. You have my gratitude. Thank you, Father. <sighs> it still feels so strange to hear you call me that. Um, you don't like it? No. No, no, it's not that I dislike it, it's just different, so. I'm still wrestling with the reality that I have a child, and that child is you. Huh? I see. Oh, but don't tell your mother. You know how she can be. What? Ha, it seems like me like you told her everything. In the future, I mean, you two are always so close. Well, come now, you're making this sound like a pair of falling bloodbirds. <laughs> I'm sure we would never embarrass ourselves, especially at court. 
So you say, but your blushing face seems a little lesser. <laughs> we probably make out a lot, don't we? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yeah, we also need to share our secret. It's been too long. You're always sharing little tidbits with me in the future. What's the future me really so furtive? I don't think of myself as a man of secrets. No, wait. Oh, they're just silly little things. It'll give me a thrill to hear them. <laughs> so the future me wasn't so much furtive, but more of a hopelessly doting father? No. Well, there was one thing you never did tell me. Really? Very well. How you and mother first met. Uh, uh, it's not the story a daughter needs to hear. Huh? It's certainly one this daughter would like to hear. Well, we make it a little wager. If I manage to beat you, you'll tell me. I'm not sure that's... What? That's her and you'll lose, eh? <laughs> Very well, I accept. <laughs> then get ready, Father, because I'm serious about hearing this story. Right. And I'm serious about not telling it, so likewise. <laughs> Jeez, Grom, we didn't really have that much of a history now, do we? Good lord. <laughs> okay. Well... I guess we might as well go around and see which ones we can do in chronological order. All these paralogs. 13. I'm trying to find number 5. Yeah, that's number 5. Uh, paralog 8. It's paralog 12. Yeah, this green gate's paralog 6. Okay. Finally, Shrine Ruins, Paralog 7. 12. This Paralog 8. Where's Paralog 9? Manor of Muscles at 16. Oh, good. Okay, this Desert Oasis, Paralog 14. Oh my goodness. We have so many paralogs, man. <laughs> okay, I guess next time on Fire Emblem Awakening, we'll probably just start one of these paralogs if you want me to. So, see you then.